Hi, I'm Jack Zucker, author of Sheets of Sound for Guitar, and we're going to go through an exercise today that's going to help you learn the fingerboard. It's going to take the five positions of the cage sequence. In this case, we're going to use D minor. And we're going to base our improvisation on a 2-5-1-6 chord progression. D minor 7, G7, C major 7, A7. And what we're going to do is we're going to limit ourselves in a couple different ways. First of all, we're going to keep our improvisation limited to eighth notes. And secondly, we're going to base our improvisation on the positional uh, chord scale sequences. That doesn't mean we're going to use uh, anything fancy or anything like Dorian or Mixolydian. We're going to actually improvise. We want to play actual lines, not scales. But what I want you to do is I want you to play these lines, force yourself to play them in uh, limited positions. In other words, lock yourself into one position on the guitar and learn to play those lines there. And in the sequence of events, we're going to take the 2516, we're going to play over it in one position, we're going to move up to the next position, play over it there for a while, etc., etc. And I'm going to demonstrate how that's done. And here's the sequence. And here we go. Next position. And that's how you do this sequence. Now, you can stay in each position as long as you want. Um, in some positions, you're going to find yourself very uncomfortable because you're probably used to playing everything in the most comfortable position in terms of uh, where you are in the fingerboard. But instead, this is going to force you to learn those places. When you get to a point where you can't play all eighth notes over a particular sequence, slow it down, and it means you don't know the fingerboard very well in that position. Um, now I'm going to take the same chord progression, same sequence, except this time I'm going to change positions every time the chord sequence repeats. I'm going to go back down now. So what we did is we sequenced our way up and down the fingerboard. We learned to play everything that we know how to play in all, all the positions. And what you can do with this is take some of the licks that you might know, some of the things that are common like, and learn to play them in all the positions. So instead of going, 
learn to play that lick there. And that's the whole purpose of this line. Now, I've done this same sequence over giant steps, countdown, moments notice, and many very complicated chord progressions. If you take this approach and you practice it rigorously, you'll also be able to play over some very complicated tunes. And uh, I hope to see you next time. This is the lesson for today. This is Jack Zucker signing out.